Hello there and welcome to this video where we will be taking a look at the new snapshot for Minecraft 19w08a. And welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the newest snapshots for Minecraft and taking a look at what they contain. Let's get right into it. Alright, so before we get into all the changes in the snapshot, it seems, or they say, that they are slowly entering the bug fixing and polishing phase of the 1.14 Village and Pillage update, which I really hope means that 1.14 will be just on our doorstep, fully released, because I am very excited about 1.14. It definitely seems like it from what they say here, but um, yeah, I guess that's a hint. Anyways, moving on, we will be taking a look at the new changes in this snapshot. Let's go! Alright, so the first new addition that we're going to be taking a look at that they have added is leather horse armor that I don't think you can craft, at least they don't say so. Um, so you have the leather horse armor, if I just get a horse here real quick and uh, some here, yep, mm -hmm, and just get some golden carrots so I can tame this guy really quickly here. Alright, he's full. He should, yep, there we go. All right, perfect. So leather armor, that's how it looks. Looks really cool. Now you can actually dye this thing. Um, if I just get a crafting table out here. And let me just see if I can actually say the different colors that you can dye it in. Um, I think it's 12,326,391. So that is 12 million. 326,391 different colors. Yikes, I don't even know how that is even possible, but I am going to go with light blue because I like that color and I'm gonna give it on to this. There we go, that looks actually pretty good. And notice that diamond horse armor. Look at that, that actually looks really, really cool. I don't think I've seen the horses with armor on yet in 1.14, but that is looking really cool. We could also take it off, and I guess, hmm, I guess we'll go with some red dye, maybe. I don't know what color that'll give it. Ooh, that looks like a light, nice light blue, cream, white-ish color. That looks really cool. I'm very glad that they added that in, because it was kind of basic when you had the iron and the gold and the diamond, you were kind of missing the leather one. If they add a chain horse armor, that would be interesting. But yeah, that is one of the new additions. Let's take a look. Oh, wait. Let's take a look at the next one. Alright, so the next new addition that they have added is actually brown mushroom. So if you just type in here, mushroom, you get this regular mushroom and that is red, but you can actually now spawn a brown one with this command. You will not be able to spawn it with a spawn egg, because there is no spawn egg. The brown mushroom is not available as a spawn egg, as you just saw. Uh, it can only be spawned with this command right here, so I'm gonna spawn one. Oh boy, what, what happened to you? <laughs> but that's pretty cool, as it makes sense as there are two different types of mushrooms. It would make sense that there are two different mushrooms. So that is pretty cool and that is pretty much all the new additions now we have plenty of changes. Let's take a look at that. Alright so now we have some, be quiet over there, now we have some block changes to the smooth quartz. They now use the bottom texture of the normal quartz blocks rather than the top one. If we just take a, I'm totally prepared for this, um, and on one and take a look at it. Eh, wait, nope. Nope. There we go. Perfect. So that right there is the bottom one and that is the top one. As you can see this one is kind of like, kind of has an edge. This one is just smooth so it would make sense that it is just smooth. So I like that. And then the stained glass and stained glass pane um, updated textures. They updated the textures to match the normal glass and glass pane. Um, I don't actually know how it was before, but I'm guessing it was the old glass texture. I'm not sure, but anyways, that's pretty cool. And I just see some dolphins, actually, there's just one it seems. But um, that's another thing, the next thing. Um, it can no longer have armor equipped onto the via a dispenser, and I, 
I I don't know if it's if it was a bug or if it's or if they are supposed to get like diamond armor or if they're supposed to get like yeah I don't I don't understand that quite well but um like I I don't see any dolphin armor unless you were supposed to use the horse armor for a dolphin which would be kind of strange and weird now it's playing with my chest plate which is totally fine um so yeah I don't know what's up with that I guess I guess it was a bug or something I don't know but that can no longer happen the same with foxes they can no longer have armor equipped onto the wire aid dispenser and speaking of foxes they changed the bounding box and I had a foxes Which prevents them from drowning when switching is switching? No. Prevents them from dr drowning when swimming. There we go. <laughs> uh, Alright, there we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. And again, they cannot get armor equipped um, via dispensers. Which also, pandas can no longer have armor equipped onto them via a dispenser. I, again, I don't know what was going on there, if it's a bug or if it was intentional, but it can no longer be done. Also, 5% of pandas will be babies when naturally spawned so and what just because we were on the subject let's just get a pan in there look how cute he is yeah perfect little test island now we will unfortunately be leave leaving this island because we will be trying to locate a village if i can get it to there we go because they have made it so that now each village all naturally generated village, villages will now spawn with an iron golem. Let's see if we can find one. Um, let's see. I'm not expecting him to be inside of a house. I'm guessing he's going to be outside. Though I have not seen one yet. They do say all naturally spawned villages will spawn with an iron golem. But... Unless he's in a house, I don't think I see one. Nope. Empty. Nope. Empty. Come on. Please be here, because that, it would be pretty cool. Nope. Empty. Come on, man. Where is he? Alright, I just teleported to another village here. As you can see, the chunks are still being loaded in. And there is, in fact, one iron golem right here. There was not one at the other village, at least, well, I didn't look underground, so I guess if there was a cave, maybe there was a chance that he spawned down there, but I, I'm guessing that's a bug. Um, but anyways, here he is. I don't know if this is a village he would normally spawn in, um, but basically they should spawn uh, naturally, or spawn at every naturally generated village. So... Yeah, I'm guessing it was just a bug that he didn't spawn up at the other village, or as I said, maybe he bugged out and got on the ground or something. Or there's a detail that I'm missing or that I can't see, because I can't see any missing details that I would miss, so yeah, don't blame me. Let's move on. Alright, so now we have some changes to the status effects. Um, each individual status effect icon texture is now found in a separate texture file, which is cool. Um, and they also improved on the invisibility status effect to allow it to correctly work in many cases where it, where it didn't. Um, for example, guardians no longer see invisible players as zombies, and illagers no longer see visible, invisible villagers and wandering traders, which is really cool. Um, I'm gonna t I'm gonna test this because I test stuff. Let's go to a spot here, get a villager, get an invisibility potion, and let's. Bone a guy. Let's. Oh, who are you? No one. Okay, good. Disappear. Let's get a. Hmm. Zombie? Let's get a zombie. Let's also test with a husk. Let's see if Mojang did it right. Husk. Cool. Time set. Night. Zombie. Alright, cool. Now if I spawn a normal villager. Oh boy. Yep, you better run. But they still see him. So they saw him first, splashed with invisibility, and now they can still track him. I just want to see what happens. So if a 
zombies bounce in while he's invisibility, but when he when a zombie sees him go invisible, well I think this guy is dead. Yeah. Let's just time set day. So I don't know if that's a bug or not, but um I'm guess I'm guessing it is. As normally if someone disappears and runs away, you would not be able to track them unless you track the of course the um what's it called? The particles. But yeah. That's that. That's pretty cool. And also speaking of textures, some textures have been updated, so that's cool too. Now here is some technical stuff for you. Uh single I quote text single I quote. <laughs> The single I quote can once again be used for string quotes in commands in addition to the double wait double quote. I don't know what the single ones are called. Single quote, double quote? I don't know. Um but yeah, from what I, from my understanding, these can now be used in commands in addition to these. Also, inside single quote strings, Double quotes are handled as a normal character and requires no escaping and vice versa, making it easier to input text components in NBT. So that is cool. That was today's technical information. Now we have 30 issues fixed. We have 12 issues fixed from the released versions before 1.14 and 13 issues fixed from the 1.14 development versions. And finally 5 issues fixed from the previous development version. Now, unfortunately, if you update, if you have played in the previous snapshot and got a fox to trust you, and if you up update, if you after that update to this snapshot, unfortunately, that fox will no longer trust you. That's what they say anyway. So that's just a heads up. But anyways, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But if you liked it, be sure to leave a like comment and share it with your friends and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and enable those notifications so you won't miss out on uploads and streams and be sure to join my discord server if you wish link down below and you can also follow me on twitter if you want to link down below as well anyways hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day